name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. As we gather on this Monday of Holy Week, the priest's intention for this Mass this morning is for Walter Dombrowski. So as we gather in the presence of the Lord, we ask him to be with us. He grant us his mercy and his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, and intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived from the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth with its crops who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you from the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nation, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm today is, The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge, of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then I will trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout heart and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served. While Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary 
took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with fragrance of the oil. When Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray him said, Why was this oil not sold for 300 days' wages and given to the poor? He said, This not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money back and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You also, you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. A large crowd of Jews found out that he was there in came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. We'll begin Monday of Holy Week. And I'd like to reflect this morning just a moment on who is, who is this servant? Who is the chosen one in whom the Lord is well pleased? Most of you would probably give you the answer this morning that it is Jesus himself. But I would like to propose to you that we are, that we are his servants this day. We are the ones who the Lord does uphold each day. He is the one who places the spirit of the Lord inside ourselves. And we see the work of that servant coming through loud and clear today in that gospel. When we focus on the servitude of Mary today. Mary did a very humbling thing. She took the role that a servant would have taken in wiping the feet of Jesus. But Mary humbled himself and did that. And did that role today. To remind us of the walk that Jesus will walk. Asking his servants ourselves, can we walk that walk with Jesus? I propose that we walk that walk this week with him as we follow him through the institution of the sacrament of the Eucharist, through his passion and death on Friday, and ultimately his glory to each and every one of us. On Easter Sunday. So let us, as his servant this day, put some time aside this week to walk this walk with Jesus, that he doesn't walk it alone, that we anoint our own feet as we walk this pandemic with our brothers and sisters as servants of the Lord, reaching out and helping those less fortunate among us. Helping a neighbor, helping a friend this week who may not be able to get out to get to a store, who may not be able to get out to get their medication and pharmacy. They feel trapped because of the fear facing. But as servants of the Lord this week, let us 
Let us, as the end of that gospel, the end of that first reading today, said to us, let us open the eyes of the blind. Let us bring those who feel confined out into the light of the Lord. So let us, as we walk this holy week, we walk it with the Lord, knowing that as his servants, he will bless us every step of the way. May God be blessed. And so let us take a moment this morning in the presence of the Lord, lifting up our own particular needs this day. Again, we continue to pray for the dedication of those who are offering of themselves through the medical profession and our first responders this day as they bring the healing and the strength to those who die and comfort those of their caregivers. Heavenly Father, we are the community of your believers. Help us to feel your healing strength this day through the prayers which we offer to you. We will bless them and make them yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And blessing you, Lord God of all creation. For through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all the Holy Church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here. And may what we have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incur bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore,
therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like you do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave a chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we would be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, with Francis, our Pope, Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, our God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and form out of my teaching, we can ever say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to each other the sign. God, we 
you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, the one who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray our prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to serve, I desire to receive you into my soul. Though I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Amen. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray. And with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which, by your mercy, we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer of beatification for Father Brisson. Lord Jesus, you have told us, ask and you shall receive. We address our prayer to you through the intercession of your priest. Louis Brisson. Attentive to the signs of the times and obedience to your will, he founded the double family of the Oblate Sisters and of the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. Confident in your providence and joyful in hope, he knew as a good father how to make himself all things to all people. Grant us, through his intercession, the favors which we ask of you, especially. Church, rejoice and glorify this priest after your own heart, who gave himself totally to your love. Amen. And let us bow our heads now and pray for the Father's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all, the purity of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. And my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God, bless each and every one of us today and always as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed Holy Week, everyone. Tomorrow we will break open the schedule to you for the airing of the, the live airing of Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil. May God bless you all.